for me, unpacking things is always a little bit disconcerting because where do my shirts go? I don't know yet. It hasn't been decided. They could go anywhere. To go to a place like Juilliard was a dream for me and, and kind of a crazy one, I thought at the time. The Young Scholars Program picks a small group of kids from around the country and they help them get into good high schools, good colleges. The foundation never said anything other than go for it and do your best and work for it. I want to go to a medical college like Columbia, which has a great medical center. And then from there I go to medical school. When someone who I don't know too well asks me what the foundation is, I basically sum it up as saying, oh, it's this scholarship, it's really awesome, it pays for a lot of things, it's really helpful. When in reality, it's even more than that. They apply as seventh graders, and we start working with them in the fall of their eighth grade year. I remember there was a very rigorous application process. I gotta tell you, it was a huge application. That application form is hard, but worth it. As soon as I found out that I got it, this wonderful woman began contacting me. Once you get in, you get an advisor who kind of helps you out, and it's like your advocate. We work with you throughout your high school career. Go to their homes, we have dinner with the scholars and their families. We would just meet up at my favorite little coffee shop. We would sit down and talk about the next year and everything that's going on. We get to know their community, we meet with their teachers, their counselors. And that's what the educational advisor is, it's sort of the glue that binds all of those uh, elements together and gives them the opportunity to make the right decisions. It feels good to have support from a lot of people. They help us ev in everything, personal life, activities, school, you name it, they help us with it. It's a different sort of advice than you would get from your family, your friends, your teachers at school, even my college counselors at school. They want to know everything about you and how that plays into who you are as a person and where you want to be as a person later on. Well, I want to be a crime scene investigator, so um, I don't know what it takes to get there. So she said, well, first you have to take some math and science classes because you know you have to be strong at that. So that's what I started doing. She never um, asks you, well, how do you think about this goal? Do you want to try to do this? It's never that case. It's more of a, you know, what do you want to do? And they go, okay, all right, well, how do you think you can get there? And really, that's what this is about. It's about figuring out what makes that kid tick and then building a program around that. Like right now, I'm taking piano courses. I've taken writing courses. The foundation pays for uh, ballet tuition. I've gotten really into photography, and they purchased a lens for me and a camera. Last year, I went to a medical program. If you have a dream, if there's something you want to do, you can do it. It's not limitless. There are boundaries. But as far as things that you could be involved with. Taking a summer class at Harvard right now. I've been to the Supreme Court to watch cases and met Justice Breyer. I've been able to travel abroad to Italy. I traveled to Oxford for a month. I just got back from China. I had a chance to present an independent project of mine in Paris. And now you're able to like travel, like take planes to like other parts of the country and just learn as much as you want, do anything you want without like financial burden. It's, it's really like living in a dream. And in a couple of years, we're going to be talking about you going abroad somewhere. It might even be doing CSI in another country. Wow. <laughs> I, I never, never thought, thought of that. that. <laughs> you know what? You have to dream big. You have to dream big. We're really looking for those kids who have an academic drive, a passion, a real spark. Not only academically, but in so many other areas as well. Like some people are just incredibly smart, some are talented at writing, some are really good athletically. And that has to be in combination with a family that has financial need. I mean, I'm not trying to make a sob story or anything, but like my, my family came here from Korea and since they couldn't do anything else, they worked as janitors. And um, having to worry about whether you can eat every day, that's, <laughs> that's really a different feeling. It's about helping students that are doing everything they possibly can with their family uh, to succeed. Next year, I'm going to be a freshman at Harvard University. Brown University. Georgia Tech. USC. I wouldn't be going to Stanford if it wasn't for the foundation. The advisors are thinking about college campuses when that student is in eighth grade. The reason we take them as eighth graders is so that we can have an impact on where they go to high school. And more than half of uh, the schools that we wind up sending the scholars to are public schools. And she was like, so what school do you want to go to? And I'm like, I'm not even sure yet. You went into the library. 
Yeah. Over here. Oh, yeah, their library is amazing. Isn't it wonderful? Yeah, that was one of the reasons why I chose this school. <laughs> because of the library. Uh -huh. I think a lot of people have big dreams, but a lot of people have to feel like they have to shy away from that because it seems impossible. And the foundation is saying to us, we are here to put you on the path towards achieving the dream. You see those rocks right there? Yeah. I think there's a tradition involving those rocks. Yeah, we have a lot of traditions here. Yeah. I say that like I already go here. <laughs> you do already go here. The second you got that acceptance letter, it hasn't sunk in yet? No. <laughs> it will. I really just think that people shortchange themselves. When you hear about Jack and Cook, go for it. Even fourth grade, fifth grade, just keep thinking about it. Don't forget about it. I mean, it took me getting this to up my self-confidence and believing in myself. And I just, I wish people would have that beforehand um, and would apply because there's really nothing to lose.